Okay, let's take a quick look at how we can add languages to our project. In this particular case for our sample project, we've only added the English language. We did that during the wizard process, and that's the default language. But if we click on the languages link in the settings pane here, you'll see there's options to add more languages. In fact, any language from the Windows operating system. Let's go ahead and click on the add language button, and we'll go ahead and select something from this list. For example, how about Spanish? and we'll press OK. And now the Spanish language is now added to our setup. If the user system is Spanish by default, it, the installer will be Spanish by default. Now the default setting here for the language, of course, is set to English in this case, um, just means that if the other languages on this list are not found on the user system, it'll go ahead and default to that language. Okay, so that's how adding languages to your projects works. It's that easy. These languages are now supported by my setup, both Spanish and English, and I can deploy it uh, reliably to a target audience which combines those languages.